Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of iron three oxide. And to do so, I've created a nice little table. Take a look. Bam, so the first thing we're gonna do is write the elements down that we see. So we have iron and we have oxygen, easy enough. Next is then the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. So there are two iron atoms, so we write a two. There are three oxygen atoms, so we write a three. Then we're gonna multiply those numbers by the mass of each particular element. These masses are found on the periodic table. Hopefully you don't have to memorize them. 55.85 for iron and oxygen is 16. So let's write them in, 55.85 for iron and then oxygen is 16. So now to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we just simply multiply the mass by the atom, number of atoms that is. And for uh, iron here, we're gonna get a total of 111.70. The total then for oxygen, 16 times three is gonna be roughly 48, not roughly, well, it's exactly 48, but you know, who's, uh, who's keeping track? And then when we add up the column here, we find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we want to find. So 159.7 uh, and the units here are in terms of grams per mole because we're finding molar mass. Now you know how to find the molar mass of iron three oxide. Thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of them out there, different subjects, all to help you through your class. Take care.